Okay, so here is a concept. When I was working up in the oil sands, we used a lot of heavy haulers. Show a video of a heavy hauler. An interesting thing about a heavy hauler, it doesn't have a tailgate. So this would be like a tailgate on the back of a truck or a dump truck. The issues with having a tailgate in this game is, it sounds like we can't go past our dimensions. So having a tailgate would make us go past our dimensions. So imagine the heavy hauler, it actually sits like this. It doesn't have a tailgate, but it articulates up. So I'm thinking about using this as dual purpose. We have gears we need to move, and we have balls that we need to move. So here's the idea. Gears are a lot of points. So if we can do something with the gears, and here's the idea is that there'd be a, like almost like a false floor on this bed. I'll take it out for a second. So what this has is a slot for that spear to go through. So the spear would kind of go through here and it'd pick up the gear. This would true that gear up on that thing so that we can actually get it on there. Um, it's got these little chutes just to align it. So that would be the false bottom. And the false bottom could work in a couple different ways. We could have the false bottom have some kind of articulating mechanism. So then when it gets up to that spear, it would go like this, get onto the spear, and we've loaded a gear. Um, we might also be able to use this false bottom to help push fuel in. So let's look at it like this. So this is six balls easily in the back of this. So that would be the, the dump. And then you get up to the low boiler and then just... So that's one idea. All right. So now the other thing is the rope climb. And so far, if we're allowed to use a webbing, we would put hook and loop onto like almost like a, a winch on the front of a Jeep. So this would be run by one motor. And then this would just be on the back of the vehicle. And we would just spin this and it would grab that webbing and bring the robot up. I'll show a video of another team that has been testing out this idea. So that's first thoughts, first concepts, first prototypes. Um, encourage the teams. If you got cardboard sitting around, it's a great tool for prototyping. Simply a cardboard, some duct tape, and a box cutter, and you can mock up almost anything really, really fast. So I encourage everybody to kind of flush out maybe ideas that they have in their mind and see if it'll work.